So this is my message to the casserole communists at Midwest Marks. In particular, casserole boy himself, Eddie Ligersmith. Now, why do I call him casserole boy? Well, you see, he's from the Midwest, which is flyover country, and he gives me hella you betcha vibes. Like, oh, sure, bud, you betcha, bud. Gonna eat the lutefisk and the casserole, bud. By the way, lutefisk was brought to the Midwest by Norwegians from Stavanger. Google it if you don't believe me. Um, so, yeah, he's... Like, he gives me the vibes of a Norwegian dude from the Midwest that eats casseroles and likes the Green Bay Packers and Minnesota Vikings. That's the type of vibes that casserole boy, casserole communist, Eddie Ligersmith gives me. Okay. And he went on Vosh and he, he took an L from Vosh. Like, if you're a communist, that should be the easiest win to take in a debate. First of all, why are you even debating the guy? He's a fed. Second of all, like that should be the easiest win to take for a communist is Vosh, who just sits in a little hobbit hole all day and plays video games, right? That should be your easiest win to take. Second of all, you went on Haas. Now, here's the, here's the deal with Haas. Haas. Haas is a sketchy guy, okay? Haas ran cover for Caleb Maupin. Haas, uh, he ran cover for hella other people too. Yankee Tanky, right? And that's why Yankee Tanky's all groveling to Haas. Um, you know, Haas doxes people and harasses people on social media, you know? And if you don't know what doxing is, Haas leaks people's personal information on social media. Like ordinary working class people who do ordinary jobs and shit, you know? So Haas is hella sus and it's hella sus that he's going and running with Haas and all that. Um, so, and then the fact that they have Jose, Jose Hernandez Huerbo on their staff, Midwest Marks does, a guy who goes to, to Cornell University, which is an elitist Ivy League institution. Um, and who calls himself Levantine Latino, even though he is not of Levantine descent, he is of Ukrainian and like Georgian descent on one side and Puerto Rican descent on the other side. So, and the fact that, um, Jose Jose Hernandez Huerbo calls himself, calls himself a Judean and promotes Zionist propaganda and is a liberal Zionist from Minneapolis who is Georgian and Ukrainian on one side and Puerto Rican on the other side. And um, they also have, you know, Midwest Marks promotes former spooks from the US military on their side as well. So that's kind of a red flag. And the fact they promote American patriotism and they rallied behind the Rage Against the War Machine and all the, the deep state spooks and creeps and all that, all those other unsavory people. Um, that just shows that Midwest Marks and Eddie Ligersmith are casserole communists. They wear Vikings beanies. Um, they say, oh, sure, bud. You betcha, bud. Eat some casserole, bud. You know what I mean? They bake for a bag of bagels, right? They, they're not serious. And the fact they promote American patriotism... Um, which is bigoted against oppressed nationalities, um, such as black people, indigenous people, and Pacific Islander people, who are a key part of the working class in the United States. If you don't believe me, go anywhere on the West Coast or anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, from Olympia all the way up to Ukiagvik, because if you go there, I will be vindicated. Right. Um, so, you know, so they, they promote the U.S. flag and U.S. patriotism, which is racism. Um, you know, casserole boys, not much different from Yankee Tanky. Yankee Tanky is only more flamboyant, reactionary and from a different region of the U.S. They're not much different. And the fact they went on, they spoke with Haas, a little gremlin 
whose entire like discord server and youtube channel is a honey pot for like the feds and shit and haas is a little little gremlin that sits around in a tank top yelling at a screen all day that's what haas does i've seen his stuff like that's that's kind of telling that kind of tips me off and i'm good at seeing patterns and it sounds like Casserole Boy, by talking with both Vosh and with Haas, is selling out. Because I'm good at pattern recognition. I'm like I'm like a Uchenna Nwosu in terms of pattern recognition, right? I can recognize patterns. Or I'm like uh, Sergio Ramo in terms of pattern recognition. I'm good at recognizing patterns. So I see Casserole Boy doing the same pattern as RBN. Right, groveling, selling out to um, all these deep state spooks. RB only RBN is they're they're selling out to Brianna Joy Gray, and Casserole Boy is selling out to Haas and Devosh. That's the only difference. That's literally the only difference. So there you go. Shame on you, Midwest Marks. Shame on you, Casserole Boy, aka Eddie Liger Smith. Y'all a bunch of casserole communists, so there you go.